Satnam, my name is Simran Kar. Thank you for joining us today at DivineAlignment.com or Guru Prem's YouTube site. Today I'm going to be showing and telling you how to do Dhanurasana correctly, hopefully with a little more ease. Bow pose is done laying on your stomach. One thing to think about though before we lay down on our stomach is an actual bow. What part of a bow doesn't move? The handle, where you hold, does not move and bend. That part of our bow is our navel point. This low, about three inches below our belly button, or three fingers below our belly button, between the hip bones. When you draw a bow back, the bow string, the bow itself, the wood, bends, but that point doesn't. If it did, it would just crack. We're going to be working on keeping that strong and bending from that point, spreading out the stretch. So come laying down on your stomach. All right. First thing, pick up your hips. Feel those lower abdominals working? Those muscles deep down in between your hip bones? Well, keep those active while you place your hips back on the ground and now press the hip bones down on the ground. Notice what happens to my legs. As I press my hips down, my feet want to come up. That's what we want. We want to be using the core. And as you use your core and draw it towards your spine, you're actually lengthening the lower back. Okay, that's the first step. <clears throat> now bend your legs, reach for your ankles, and then use, use your thighs to lift your torso and head up. Once that's comfortable, then you can begin to lift the knees up and lengthen from there. All of this while pressing that area between your hip bones down into the ground and stretching from the base of your spine to the top of your spine out. Okay, some people have really tight front of the thigh. You can use a strap around your ankles, but if you can reach just your toes, that's good. Or if you can work your hands down to your ankles, flex the feet. Ideally, your feet stay together. If you can't do that, then your toes touch. And an alternative is just keeping your legs parallel. Your knees do not have to come together. A couple of things that are detrimental to doing this correctly is leading with your head. Coming up with your head just to see how high you can get. This compresses the neck as well as the lower spine because you do not have a connection to the earth to help support and lift. So make sure that your legs are working, that you're pressing down into the earth to help lift your head and chest and lengthening away. Once you've completed bow pose, do a counter pose. Either downward facing dog. Downward facing dog even with your knees bent is nice to release the lower back. Or a child's pose, balasana. So today we've covered bow pose. Make sure to connect from your core down to the earth, pressing down and lengthening away from the lower back, creating that same movement of a bow from the point, the handle at your navel and spreading the stretch out. Thank you very much.